At the beginning of the choir, we're introduced to a troubled teenager who lives with his alcoholic mother. And the alarm bells ring for the first time when she dies, quite near the beginning of the movie, and nobody really seems that upset about it. And that's because you realise quickly that it's just a plot point to move it on to the next level. His biological father has a family of his own. He's very wealthy and lives in New York, and the kid is a bit of a dirty secret. So he pays to pack him off to a prestigious boys' choir school with a charismatic choir leader played by Dustin Hoffman. So it's a little bit Gareth Malone meets Whiplash, only not as good as that sounds like it might be, but as bad as it sounds like it might be. It's a very, very predictable storyline from that moment onwards. This roughneck teenager gets in fights with the posh kids. He can't read music. Of course, he has the voice of an angel. There's a lot of, we gotta give this kid one more chance. Somebody actually says the line in this movie, I want you to take this handle and smash it out of the ballpark. Now, Dustin Hoffman does his best and he's okay. The music is beautiful, but Eddie Izzard is in it playing a straight role and he can run marathons, but he can't act. And the whole thing is just very, very predictable.